As all the modifications are on the live existing platforms, a well-experienced team for brownfield modifications are assigned by NPCC to execute the project within the limited time frame. The modification of a wellhead tower are completed in different campaigns such as J-tube installation and cable laying campaign, pipe laying and riser installation campaign, modification campaign, shutdown and commissioning campaign. Out of these campaigns, modification and commissioning campaigns are done by NPCC jack-up barges and the rest by NPCC floating barges or by DP vessels suitable for the job. All the fabrication works are done by NPCC in manufacturing yard at Abu Dhabi and transported to the field by using cargo barge or supply vessels. Main jack-up barge for the modification will set up at predetermined location around the existing platform in order to suit the location and lifting. Cargo barge containing the deck extensions will be set up at the location ready for the lifting. Existing structures to be demolished first as identified in the drawings and keep the platform ready for the installation of new deck extensions. NPCC Jack-Up Barge uses specially designed and fabricated spreader bars to install the deck extensions below the existing heli-deck level. A final dimensional survey will be done on the existing deck and on the new structure in order to confirm the correctness. The Jack-Up Barge will pick up the spreader bar on the cargo barge first and then connecting the pre-rigged gears on the deck extensions. Cutting the sea fastening, lifting and installation is done in a safe manner as per the approved lift plan for each lift. Spreader bar is removed and taken back to the cargo barge after welding and NDT of main structural connecting members are completed. Each fabricated structural modules are named to identify them and installations are done in an approved sequence by clients and NPCC engineering. The preparation for the installations of the new structural modules connecting the previously installed modules to the existing members are done prior to the lifting. This includes installation of support members below the modules. Equipment on the existing deck or on the new deck extensions are protected to avoid damages on it. Specially engineered and fabricated spreader bar designed for smaller lifts are used for lifting and installing the lighter deck extensions. Activities on the previously installed deck extensions are stopped during installation of the modules in other side of platforms for safety reasons, if necessary. The structural members are sent ship loose if a part of the deck extensions are found clashing on the existing members or equipment. Clash check review sessions and 3D model reviews are conducted during the engineering stage itself to resolve the clashes with the existing facilities and avoid the discrepancies on the drawings. Either temporary or permanent access ways, stairs or ladders, are installed immediately to work on the newly installed deck extension. If the new equipment is coming on the new deck extension and there is no obstruction for the lifting and installation of the structures, those are installed from the yard itself. Others are installed at offshore after installing the deck extensions. All the deck modifications are well engineered and designed by NPCC and the same is approved by client and marine warranty surveyors prior to starting the fabrication of the extensions. Cold vent boom for venting the drain tank and other equipment is installed after installation of all other major deck extensions. Installation of piping, equipment, electrical and instrumentation systems are started on the previously installed extensions.
Main equipment on the each wellhead tower like drain tank, drain pump, pick launcher or receiver, corrosion inhibitor skid, ring main unit, transformer and hydraulic safety shutdown system are installed on the deck as per the drawings. Modification of a wellhead tower completed by installing, testing and commissioning all the piping, electrical and instrumentation systems according to the specifications and procedures. Similar process is done on all the wellhead towers under the scope of work. Commissioning of the wellhead towers are done as per the priorities by client, the readiness of the downstream towers or platforms and the readiness of the subsea pipeline and cables which makes this project more complex than the new greenfield installations.